Why do I feel like I'm opening something that came straight from the jungle? This might be one of the scariest, also bougiest things that I have ever seen. This is too expensive, too bougie to even be in the same room as me. We need to be careful here because basically I was told that some of these are meant to be dangerous. I mean, I'm not taking any risks here. This is the fruit that we're gonna start with. Basically in this box, like in the background, uh, this is filled with exotic fruits that I've never heard. I wasn't the one choosing them. I've honestly got no clue what this is. My cameraman picks every single one of these. The box arrived in my house today. This stuff, this is probably worth like hundreds of dollars of just exotic fruits. Just normally, like on my everyday life, I am a very uncultured person. Now imagine with something that I've literally never seen before. This looks so freaking weird. Let me pick a good one. So this is our very, let me get like a few of them. This honestly looks like cacti. Is how you say it? So this is our first fruit. This is so freaking weird. Not only I've got to guess the name of this, but also how you eat it. Honestly, never seen this one at least. I've got no idea. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut it in half. Oh. oh my god, that does not look like what I expected. This is going to be such a revelation of a video. I don't know if it's my color blindness, but are they green on the outside and then like orange on the inside? That's freaking weird. Are you supposed to wash it? Do I try to remove it? Oh, this actually peels off really easy. It looks like a cactus, but it peels off like an avocado. On the inside, it's almost like a peach. Wait, it's got these fibers on the outside. I don't know if you're supposed to pick these out. I don't know which country this is from. I'm gonna say not a country in which I've been to because I've never seen it. So I don't know, from like India, from like the Philippines. Anyone watching is literally about to unsubscribe because this must be not only offensive, but also I just look really stupid. I'm gonna give it a try. Can I eat it? Oh, I feel so nervous. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. It's crunchy. It's got so many seeds, but honestly, I mean, I feel like juice made from this would be really nice because the flavor is actually nice. It almost tastes like maybe papaya. Like it kind of tastes like that. All right, it looks intimidating, but actually I don't hate the flavor of this. I'm gonna say this is a positive experience. Okay, so I'm gonna guess the name, where it comes from, and if I ate it correctly, okay? If I had to guess a name for this, I would say a ca cactus fruit. I think I've heard the name prickly pear before. So that could be it. Is this a prickly pear? I was looking at a recipe the other day and he asked for prickly pear. The mind of a mastermind. Okay, so we guessed the name correctly, which is more than I thought. Started as trash and now we're here. Let me guess a place. Originally, I thought this came from South America, but then I actually think this probably came from Asia. Which country? I'm gonna say, is it Brazil? Is it South America? Mexico. This is from Mexico. Originally, this comes from Mexico and then all the way to Spain. Do you know what this means? I've got so many people watching my videos from Mexico. I'm gonna be roasted in the comments. A great start to this video. Also, I'm gonna be on a prickly pear cleanse <laughs> for the next three days. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so here we've got our second fruit. The first one, I actually did pretty well at guessing. I did a terrible job at knowing how to eat it, but I actually guessed the name correctly. Is this a dangerous one? This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Like, I've... This looks like a vegetable. Why does it look more expensive than five-star restaurant meal? Because I don't even know where to start about eating this. If you see it from this angle, it looks like I'm holding, like, a starfish. <laughs> okay, so... I guess I'm gonna cut into it. Well, let me try to wash it a little bit. So I washed it a little bit. All of these are safe to eat, right? Let me see if this is, like, movable. Nope. Um, I honestly have no idea. I'm gonna guess that you sliced it in half. I feel like I've done something wrong. It smells like aloe vera. I'm gonna guess that this is like a fruit that is very popular for Christmas and that you eat it like that. When did these come out? Which generation of fruit is this? Like generation four or five? All right, so let me try it. Wow, it's so crunchy. <laughs> it tastes kind of the way it smells. It's really, really watery. I'm gonna guess that this comes from a place where it rains a lot. So this has to be like a tropical place, right? Hmm. 
What's a tropical place? I'm so stupid. Okay, it doesn't come from Europe. It doesn't come from North America for sure. This is so water. It's basically just water. I want to guess South America. Does it come from South America? No? It comes from Asia. Where in Asia? Philippines? Southeast Asia. Does that make it... Apparently this is from India, Sri Lanka, like all these countries in Asia that I've never been to. <laughs> I'm guessing the way you cut it is the way I did it, right? Because I can't really think of another way to do it. Was I correct? Is that actually the right way to eat it? Okay. A winning today. Oh, it's got some seeds in the center. I didn't even notice. I'm gonna guess that the name of this is Star Fruit. Is it Star Fruit? No way! I should be naming fruits. This is my call in life. I've never even heard of it. I literally just came up with a name. Wow. Honestly, these Jeffree Star products are getting out of control. It tastes kind of similar to pear, but like a watery pear. Do you eat it in like, uh, with sugar probably, right? Nope, just the way it is. I'm, I'm trash, basically. I think I like this one better. I think I did pretty good. I guess how you slice it and I guess the name of it. So that's pretty good. So we're gonna move on to the next one. So here we've got our next fruit. So this one comes with 10. Why does it look like a giant cranberry? Like, <laughs> it looks like giant, like, <laughs> it looks like giant cherries. It honestly looks like someone fed steroids to a cherry. I don't know. I'm guessing the name of this one is gonna start with berry or end with berries. How would I slice this? I would probably remove that. So this bit is probably not edible. Oh, it's kind of like a peach. So I guess you just go around. I'm assuming this is not edible, this part. It actually comes off easy. So I guess that usually means it's not edible. Why does it smell familiar? <laughs> Turns out it's not as easy to actually peel off. I'm gonna slice it in half completely. <gasps> that was so unexpected. I was honestly expecting it to be like a peach on the inside. That actually looks so cool on the inside. I like that smell. It's kind of like a bad smell, but like in a good way. I'm gonna bite the bit where I removed the, um, the peel. Oh my God. It's so flavorful at first, like it, it hits you with so much flavor, but then it slowly starts to become bitter. It kind of has the texture of jam in the center, if jam had like a few drops of poison in it. Um, strangely enough, if I had to pick the flavor, not the sweetness, ignoring that, this would probably be my favorite one so far, which is really strange because I wasn't expecting. So I'm gonna guess that um, the way you eat it is you peel off entirely the red part and then you cut it in half probably or even like in four pieces am i correct you don't peel it off right wow i couldn't be more wrong so i guess the way you're supposed to eat this is you're supposed to boil it and then you remove the peel but if you're not boiling it you're not supposed to remove the peel you're just supposed to cut in half sprinkle some sugar oh you spoon the middle out so you eat the middle with sugar but you don't eat the yellow bit wow that's interesting okay that one was a very specific way to eat it so basically the center of this is supposed to be the good part, which is crazy because I would always think that it'd be the yellow part, but something in here was really bitter. No, the center part is kind of bitter as well. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna guess the name of this is um, Big Berry. <laughs> it can be Big Berry. People are more creative than that. Um, what about Bitter Berry? Honestly, it's bitter. Big Bitter Berry. <laughs> BBB. I'm gonna guess Big Berry because that's all I've got. Nothing's coming to me. So I'm gonna guess the name of this is Big Berry. What is the name of this? Tamarillo. It looks like a tree tomato. So the name of this is Tamarillo, but fun fact, it used to be called a tree tomato. I'm gonna say South America. Is it from South America? Wow, it's really far away. That's why I've never heard of this. I've never tried it. I can't believe this came all the way to my house from South America. Also, look how shiny that looks. I love a big berry. Every single one has been my favorite so far, but I do think this one has a lot more flavor. I really like that. We've got a, I mean, we've got a lot more to try in this video, so. So here's our next one. I'm very confused because I think I know what it looks like, but then the size doesn't make any sense. So I'm really, really confused. What? What is this? A pineapple? Is this a pineapple for ants? I've never seen anything like that. I don't think you guys understand. This is my face. Look at the size difference. It smells like a pineapple, I think. It looks prettier than a regular pineapple. I've honestly... Is this a thing? If I lived my life without ever seeing a tiny pineapple? Well, I guess we've got the name. Um, I'm gonna cut it the same way I cut a pineapple normally. I don't know if it's the right way, but I would go like that. 
It's so powdery. That is kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. That is really strange. I feel like if we cut this the same way we cut a pineapple, this is gonna have no, no flesh left. Like, no good parts to eat. It's got all those bits, all those prickly bits. How is that gonna be enjoyable? We're almost at the center. Is this a non-edible fruit? Then why would I even sell it in first place? I'm gonna just cut a chunk of it. I don't know. I am really, really confused. It is really soft. It's almost like buttery. Wow. The whole thing is like soft. I feel like I almost could, could bite the outside. Nope. That was a mistake. Um, I think it's a pineapple. I could be wrong, but the best way to describe the flavor is imagine a pineapple, but you turn the flavor up to like a thousand. <laughs> like, that's literally what it's like. And the consistency, like, you know how pineapples usually get really tough around the center? Even though this one is smaller, it doesn't get tough around the center. I love pineapple, obviously. It's probably my favorite fruit, so obviously I love this one. It tastes very similar, but more intense, the flavor. Okay, so my guess for the name, tiny pineapple, little pineapple. Apple. Little pine. Little piney is like baby pineapple probably. It's baby pineapple. So the name of it is baby pineapple, very original. And I'm guessing that this, like most pineapples, comes from South America, probably from Brazil. Okay, so it comes from Brazil. You cut it the same way you cut a regular pineapple. <laughs> you just get a lot less pineapple than normal. Okay, wow. All right, so uh, let's see what else is in store. Okay, so here we've got our next one. This one, it doesn't look like a fruit. It looks more like a vegetable. I mean, that is is a vegetable if I've seen one. I want to say like a radish. Is that where horseradish comes from? I'm not so sure if this is like if we're supposed to actually eat this. Okay, so I think this one is grown like in the ground. How would we slice this? I guess the same way you slice vegetables. So that looks like that. And then and then I guess we I would just slice it. Like, I just do many slices. <gasps> what? Oh my god, I feel like I'm looking at one of those optic illusions. This is so weird. I honestly thought this was like a, like a, a radish, radish, beetroot, I don't know. Like, they, these are all the same things in my head. Um, I mean, I will try it. Oh, that is actually edible. It's really sweet. Wow. This honestly tastes like it's got sugar in it. What would I name this if I created this? Optic Illusion. I look like I'm the guy from Salt. Like, <laughs> it kind of looks like a candy cane as well. Candy cane beetroot. <laughs> candy beetroot. So I'm gonna guess that this comes from, from the UK. Like, no, wait, let me think again. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna guess it comes from Europe. It does? It is produced in Europe as well. Beetroots, it comes originally from the Middle East, but now it's grown like everywhere in the UK, in Europe. Okay, so that makes sense. So this next one, I mean, I guess it is what it is. This looks even stranger on camera than it does in real life. Um, Baby, but it doesn't smell like orange. Oh my god, what have I done? My first question is, is this even edible? Because how is this even gonna have anything in the center? Okay, so let me try to like cut it open. I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to do it. I'm gonna slice it in half. But wait, maybe you eat it as it is. You probably eat it as it is. That is literally a miniature orange. Like, <laughs> oh, it smells like orange on it. It smells like lemon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip it. No, you don't eat the peel. But the way to eat this is to slice it like, literally like a lemon and then eat it like this. This is ridiculous. But I was expecting it to be really bitter, but it's not. What would you use this for? I don't know, honestly. I'm gonna guess the name of this is Tiny Lemons. Is it? It's not Tiny Lemons. It's got its own name. It's not Tiny something. Oh. Baby oranges. Baby citrus. Is that Spice Girl? Baby... Is this small? Kumquats. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce this, guys, so this might be wrong. I think this is a... Kumquat? I've never heard of this name before. Like, maybe, like, people, like, squish it down, they flatten it down. So I'm gonna guess you make juice out of this. I don't think you eat this. It's not... It's too much... It's too thick, the layer outside. It doesn't give any satisfaction eating this. Wait, so you eat the outside? So I was right about that? Okay, so the outside is supposed to be the sweet part, right? Right? 
Oh my god, that's so good! Wow, that's weird. It's really bitter in the middle though. This has to be the strangest one we've had in the whole video. I'm not joking when I tell you that. Look, this one is basically just the outside. This is so good! I know this looks weird, but it tastes so, so good. Wow. The only thing I haven't done is I'm gonna guess that this comes from Europe as well. I don't know why. No, wait. This... I think I've heard the name before, like, Japan? China, India, and Japan. Wow. I love it. So this one is very much wrapped up. I'm gonna try not to ruin it before. This is, this is not my official guess of this, but I think this might be a dragon fruit. Either it is, or I'm being really stupid and it, a dragon fruit doesn't look like this. For some reason, it's like my brain is saying dragon fruit right now. Do we remove these? So I'm gonna remove this little top. I don't know if this is the right way to eat it. It's got very dark, like a stem or something. I've had this before in Singapore. I just remember having this for breakfast. I am pretty sure this is a dragon fruit. So my guess is that you cut it in half and then you just go like this. I've seen people doing this in a hotel and that works perfectly. Oh my God. Also, this is honestly like the most beautiful thing. It's like nature packed like a healthy breakfast in a pretty presentation and we're like taking it for granted. Mm. Oh my God. I've had this before and I actually think this might be my favorite fruit ever. So my guess, dragon fruit? Yes? Yes. My guess is you cut it in half and you eat it with a spoon? Yes. I didn't know, but apparently you can also peel it. I mean, they're not lying. <laughs> wow. I know for a fact that we don't have these here in Europe, so I'm gonna say... I also don't think they have it in South America, so I'm gonna say Asia more maybe like... I'm trying to locate Singapore in my head. It comes from Mexico originally. Okay guys, so... So here we've got 200 grams of a very strange looking fruit. I mean, all of them are. This one's got a sticker on it with an Instagram account. I don't think I've ever been that desperate for followers. We stand an influencer. It says Java Fresh on it, which is either the company or the name of the fruit, but not my official guess yet. I don't think the name of this is Java Fresh. Like it just doesn't, it doesn't belong. It's so round, it almost feels like like a pokeball. Like, is this a beetroot again? It's so tough. That is a weird smell. Like, it smells like an old grandma's house. Like, why does that look like, like an oyster? That looks like something that comes literally from the bottom of the ocean. Like which SpongeBob character is this? Ew, it looks gross. Your Google Home isn't set up yet. To get started, download the Google Home app on a- What even is that? All around it, it's like protected. It looks like a garlic. Is this garlic? I'm no exaggerating. This tastes like whipped cream. It tastes exactly like vanilla yogurt milk. There's not a whole lot to eat. It's only these white fibers. Um, but it's a flavor that I've never had before. This is the strangest flavor in here and also probably my favorite one. I don't think you eat this dry outside. Nope. I'm gonna guess that um, you eat just this part, basically the white part, and you remove the stone in the center and the all the outside. Yes, okay, so we got that right. And I'm gonna guess people use this for desserts or like cakes or like cooking, because it tastes like vanilla, but milk. Is it for desserts mostly? Candy, I'm honestly nailing this. Um, this comes from South America, probably. Asia? Really? China? This comes from Malaysia and the Philippines. How do you even use this? I don't know. If I had to guess a name, it would be cream berry. Cream? Vanilla? Berry? I'm gonna guess cream berry. Mangosteen. Mangosteen, <laughs> what? This one, why does it got me feeling like this is rare or like something that I shouldn't own? Like it's literally got nothing written on it. How do you even buy this? Which part of the dark web did this come from? I can't open it, but I'm not gonna put my, I'm not gonna put my mouth in this. Why are they wet? They were locked inside the bag. If I learned anything with this video, okay, I'm gonna... Maybe that's where pickles come from. That smell... 
That tastes and smells like perfume. I can't believe people are paying for it. So this is an ingredient that, is this an ingredient that comes in perfume sometimes? It even tastes like perfume. I am not gonna be able to put that on camera. This is so weird. I'm gonna try my best at showing you, but basically it's got tiny little like, almost like bubbles. It's almost like, it looks like caviar. Look, it's like fish eggs. Why do I feel like this is like some science fiction? I mean, it's kind of good. I think it's because I expected it to be bad. It pops in your mouth. This is literally like nature's like popping candy. It tastes like a perfume still to me, but like in tiny little capsules. This is so freaking weird. The name for this, I'm thinking squishy lemon, something like that. Wait, no one would name a fruit that. A pearl lemon. Does he have lemon in the name? Crunchy lemon. Is it crunchy lime? Squishy lime. It's a finger lime? A finger lime? <laughs> what? I mean, the only way to eat this is to literally lick your fingers, so I get that. Yeah, so the only thing left is where it comes from, so I'm gonna guess that this comes from just all over, probably, right? Australia? This had to come from Australia. If anyone's watching from Australia, let me know. This honestly tastes like perfume to me. I like it, but it's really bizarre.